Well, Bill's 82. Growing up in Chicago, Susan Cura never dreamed she would live in Mexico. Now, she couldn't see herself living anywhere else. We came here, actually read an article in the Chicago Tribune talking about retiring in Mexico on $30. On $10 a day, which of course is impossible. Uh, and we were intrigued. So we came to Mexico. We absolutely loved the culture, the vitality, the ambiance, the, the weather, the financial. It was cheaper to live here. So I think this morning. It's not hard to see why she and others have moved here. The US dollar is worth more than 19 times the Mexican peso, making this country a bargain. El retirado. A retiree comes to Mexico to spend less than what they would in the United States, a place with better weather and better services. With their pension of forty to fifty thousand dollars in the U.S., they could not live there with the same quality of life as they could in Mexico. The number of foreign-born residents of Mexico doubled between 2000 and 2010. While this year, Mexico was named by International Living magazine as the third best place to retire. The central Mexican city of San Miguel de Allende is an example of a thriving community of foreign retirees. In this city, almost 9% of the people living here are from abroad. Everyone reinvents themselves, it seems. Former restaurant owner Richard Schaefer has called this city home for 15 years. But I think the one thing I deal about this country is a lot of these people that are moving here have families back home. So here it's so easy to get to, inexpensive. Uh, you go further into Panama or Ecuador, you have a lot more airfare. And if you get sick, you worry about the hospital there. Here, if, uh, if people have an emergency, half the time they're in Conetro to the hospitals, or they can get on a plane very quickly to the state. But there are still drawbacks. Mexico's widespread corruption and its bloody drug war worries many Americans. But thanks to the North American Free Trade Agreement, infrastructure has improved. And now, Mexico has many of the same products and services as the U.S. Martin Markovitz, CCTV, San Miguel de Allende, Mexico.